Welcome, today we are going to talk about MediaTek's latest chipset, which is the Dimensity 2000. With this chip, we think MediaTek will finally be able to defeat its Snapdragon superior in terms of performance. Snapdragon has produced the best smartphone processors for over a decade, do we think its reign is about to end? But before we begin, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to our channel, if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of our future updates on the Dimensity 2000. Despite the fact that the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 delivers just minor improvements over its predecessor, it is not the real Dimensity 1000 replacement. The MediaTek Dimensity 2000 is expected to debut in late 2021 or early 2022, and it will be the first of its kind. According to conflicting sources, it could use either the 5 nanometers or 4 nanometers manufacturing nodes from TSMC. However, regardless of its transistor size, the chipset is expected to bring about numerous advancements and could possibly give the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 a serious run for its money in some areas. According to a research from Midrivers, the Dimensity 2000 is 25% more power efficient than the Snapdragon 898 processor. The fact that the Snapdragon 898 is manufactured on Samsung's 4 nanometers node, which does not perform quite as well as its TSMC counterpart, is scarcely surprising at this point. Furthermore, according to the research, the Dimensity 2000 could be as quick as the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 in terms of raw speed, if not faster. The Dimensity 2000 is also rumored to be the first MediaTek chipset to include ARM's brand new Cortex-X2 CPU core, which is expected to debut later this year. It will almost certainly be accompanied by Cortex-A710 and A510 cores in a cluster architecture similar to the Snapdragon 898, namely one Cortex-X1 plus three Cortex-A710 plus four Cortex-A510. In addition, an ARM Mali G79 will be in charge of the graphics processing side of the equation. History has shown that the performance of ARM's GPUs has lagged behind that of its Qualcomm counterparts, and it will be fascinating to see if that holds true this time around. MediaTek chipsets, even the most expensive ones, have historically lagged behind Qualcomm hardware by a generation or more. As a result, MediaTek now has a legitimate chance to compete with Qualcomm's flagship devices, at least in terms of CPU performance, for the first time in many years. The Dimensity 2000 may even be able to compete with the Exynos 2200 in terms of overall performance, but it will almost surely fall short in terms of gaming performance, due to the Exynos MRDNA2 GPU. So do you think MediaTek will finally be able to defeat Snapdragon this time with the release of the Dimensity 2000? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos every day.